in active learning, the data acquisition process is guided by the model training, often leading to higher sample efficiency than normal supervised learning. The central component of an active learning algorithm is the data acquisition function. Traditionally, they are based on heuristics, such as prediction uncertainty, input diversity, or ensemble disagreement. More recently, deep reinforcement learning and imitation learning algorithms are used to learn an acquisition function on a related task and then transfer it to the task at hand. Evaluations of recent methods seem to suggest that we live in a time of great progress. Every new method achieves significant improvement, but a closer look reveals alarming inconsistency. One method could be the state of the art on one problem, but even struggles to outperform the random baseline on another. This makes real-world deployment risky, as there is no turning back once the labeling cost is incurred. It's hard to understand the deficiency of a particular strategy without a comparison to the optimal oracle. In this paper, we propose to search for this optimal strategy and then analyze its behaviors on several problems. The space of acquisition strategies, however, is ill-defined. Each strategy is parameterized differently, and new ones may be proposed at any time. Fortunately, a strategy only affects the performance via the realized data acquisition order, meaning that the search for the optimal order is sufficient. This is still intractably combinatorial, so we use simulated annealing with a local perturbation kernel. In the experiments, we study three tasks, object classification, intent classification, and name entity recognition. On all of them, we observe a large performance gap between the optimal oracle, shown in red, and the various heuristics, suggesting ample room for improvement. In addition, we demonstrated that not controlling for training stochasticity, such as random initialization, is detrimental. The optimal order also transfers across model architectures better than the heuristics. Finally, the most interesting finding suggests that the optimal order acquires data very homogeneously. For object classification on the Fashion Amnes dataset, the top panels plot the T-SNE embedding of the images, color-coded by labels. Numbers represent acquisitions at different iterations. While the max entropy order samples closely to the class boundary, the optimal order achieves a quite uniform coverage. The bottom plot shows the label distribution in the acquired dataset, again, with optimal order being much more balanced than max entropy. The same trend also holds for both intent classification on top and name entity recognition on bottom. Finally, using this finding, we're able to consistently improve various heuristics with a regularization that enforces the distribution matching property during the acquisition.